The ongoing coronavirus pandemic has taken its toll throughout the aviation industry. No matter how big or small businesses have been affected, then there are aircraft manufacturing upstarts such as Mitsubishi, which is currently facing challenges that could derail its plans to see its debut regional jet program, the Space Jet, from taking off. For those of you who are not familiar with the Mitsubishi Space Jet program, it is a regional jet that Japanese industrial giant Mitsubishi has been making within the last decade. First named the Mitsubishi Regional Jet, it was rebranded as the Mitsubishi Space Jet in 2019, with two variants, the M90 and the M100, set to take on the challenge of becoming a premier regional jet for some of the airlines around the world. Specifically, the Japanese manufacturer has set its sight for the market of the US, which also has a lot of regional jets and small airlines that provide feeder links for major airlines in major hubs in the US. After years of setbacks and large costs, the project took a step closer to its first commercial operated flight as a test version of the M90 in a final configuration for certification took off in Nagoya earlier in March of this year. With a test model aircraft, the Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation was eyeing test flights to gain the certification needed to begin flight operations with airlines. Now during March, it was in the back of everyone's minds unless you were in China or throughout parts of Asia where the coronavirus was, infections was starting to pick up. And this year, in the year 2020, it was planned that the Mitsubishi space jet would finally take to the skies carrying passengers in a triumphant return for Japan as a major player in the commercial aircraft manufacturing business. However, with the coronavirus pandemic spreading throughout the world, it has forced airlines to rethink their strategies and Mitsubishi has been reevaluating the Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation and the Space Jet program. In a major development in May, Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation's parent company, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, would slash the funding for the program by from 140 billion yen to just 60 billion yen for the fiscal year, citing business pressures from the COVID-19 pandemic for Mitsubishi Heavy, as well as added losses due to the acquisition of the Bombardier CRJ program. Those factors, among others, have caused Mitsubishi Aircraft to see total expenditures rise from its 85 billion yen in 2018 to over 260 billion in 2019. The budget cuts has been followed with decisions to downsize and restructure the business, which will include laying off more than half of its 2000 workforce and the closure of its international offices in the United States, Canada, and Europe. Though according to reports, they will maintain a minimal staffing at the aircraft test facility at Moses Lake, Washington. While it does market the M100, this year Mitsubishi will primarily focus on the M90 as it works to certify the aircraft. Mitsubishi also announced a change in the management of the program with Chief Development Officer Alex Bellamy stepping down from his post with the deputy head of the U.S. test site Yasuhiko Kawaguchi taking the reins as executive chief engineer for the project. Recognizing the challenges brought upon by the COVID-19 pandemic, Mitsubishi reaffirmed its commitment to the project stating, quote, In order to contribute to the development of the aviation industry in Japan, and to develop Japan's first commercial aircraft, Mitsubishi Aircraft will focus on certification and will continue to move forward. It seems as though the fate of the space jet will rest heavily on how Mitsubishi sees the project, and after 12 years since its introduction in 2008, the dream of the Japanese commercial aircraft manufacturing comeback has proven to be costly, with Mitsubishi incurring most of the costs. And seeing the timeline of the project changing constantly within the last few years. Mitsubishi Heavy might be more inclined to pressure Mitsubishi Aircraft to adhere to its newly stated timetable for the launch of the aircraft for commercial services with the launch airline All Nippon Airways scheduled for next year in 2021. The next point I want to bring up is the ability to compete with the likes of Embraer which has been a mainstay in regional jet manufacturing. And it just so happens the Brazilian aircraft manufacturer made headlines as the deal with Boeing fell apart. And I can assume that given a re existing relationship for making parts of aircraft manufacturers such as Boeing, we could see soon the talks between Boeing and Mitsubishi for a possible joint venture in the future. And for the most part, Embraer's monopoly very much on the industry, especially for regional jets, 
casts a cloud over the prospects for Mitsubishi with its publicized struggles, especially shelving the M100 for the time being. The Mitsubishi space jet is personally one of the aircraft I am rooting for to take to the skies soon, but realistically it will have to reassess its business goals and how it navigates the ongoing crisis. What is your take on the situation surrounding the Mitsubishi space jet and do you believe the Mitsubishi can keep the program alive or should it cut its losses and end the program? Definitely hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, this is Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.